Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Real Football Network. I'm Jim Miller. Well, another Week 3 matchup will pit two 0-2 teams. The 0-2 Chicago Bears head up to the Great Northwest and Century Link Field to take on the 0-2 Seattle Seahawks. Seattle, the good news is they got their star safety back. Cam Chancellor, he returns to the fold. It's going to shore up a defense that's given up 61 points in the first couple of weeks. And how about Seattle and their ability to get their tight end, Jimmy Graham, cranked up in this matchup. The Chicago Bears are one of the worst pass defenses in the NFL. They've already given up seven touchdowns. So Jimmy Graham, seven receptions for 62 yards and a touchdown. He might be able to pad the stats this weekend. What else do I like about the Seattle Seahawks? I think when you look at the, the matchups on the Bears offensive line, this is still a very good defensive line of Seattle, and it's been a somewhat makeshift line by the Chicago Bears. Right guard Kyle Long has shifted out to right tackle. They now have Vlad Dukas at the right guard spot. Also, Jermon Bushrod, the left tackle of the Bears, has been dealing with a bulky back. Also, what doesn't uh, bode well for the Chicago Bears in their favor in this ballgame, Jay Cutler, their star quarterback, is going to be out in this matchup and could miss a couple of games with a strained hamstring. Jimmy Clausen, the backup, must now step into play. What I don't like for this uh, matchup for Jimmy Clausen is he's going into a hostile environment, an environment where Seattle is a great home record. I believe they're 22-2 and two, uh, at home. You listen to the crowd noise, and you got to be able to communicate. And now for Jimmy Clausen to step in, go on the road with a team that's already struggling in the Chicago Bears while learning a new offense of Adam Gase. This may not be pretty, but I do think it's a get-right game for the Seattle Seahawks. Why? They have to keep pace with the Arizona Cardinals, who are already off to a fast start in a 2-0 record. So I've got the Seattle Seahawks winning this matchup. Should be pretty handily. The Bears are going to struggle with a backup quarterback. I've got Seattle 30-14 to in this ballgame. For the Real Football Network, I'm Jim Miller. Thanks for joining us.